Hey coaches, this week we're bringing you part two of Stan Bedwell teaching uh, four verts the way that uh, Coach Mummy teaches it. Uh, this week he gets into some of the cut-ups. He uses the uh, the spring league uh, cut-ups and also some uh, some film from when he was at Bell Haven with Coach Mummy. So fantastic film, and Stan does a great job of, of teaching off the film. Uh, hope you enjoy the episode. Please like, uh, comment, share, uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Thank you, coaches. One now, so we'll look at some of these from uh, from Bill Haven under Coach Mummy and then from um, the Juco I was at in 19. And then we'll look at a little bit of spring league stuff. We'll just look maybe for from the Rochester stuff here, we'll look more at um, we got some fallouts. Look at some fallouts and then some of the some sits. I, I mean, I, I think you know you can look all day with any of these. It just um, I think the first clip we got here will see one, but look all day at guys just getting pressed and outside release and stacking catching fades. What we want to look at is more the the kind of things we do off of it. I think this is one of those examples of just. You know, throwing the fade, but get through uh, that. Push, when you're when you're using the huddle, uh, push the slow button because it gets jumpy if you have it in regular. Oh yeah, I remember that actually. I think I need to stop the share and then redo that. Right. Uh, I think I stop share and then I go share screen and is it optimized for video clip? Uh, I don't know. You're getting too advanced for me. I just put, I just <laughs> hold the slow button <laughs> when I do it. All right. Now, and, I, and this video might be a little bit better now because we've done optimized video clip. Okay. So here's a look with the Z doing the fallout route. So we're doing it out of three by one. We're in trips. So let's. The quarterback's eyes are on the X. He's carrying across to the Y. It's the H. Probably had space, but he sees the Z just fall out because you see the corner's pretty far off right here. And definitely his own turn. Eyes are inside, so this Z's just going to get lost. The quarterback throws a, one thing we work every day is, you know, the – New drill working to throw that shoulders away from defenders. So he puts it on the outside shoulder. And we break a tackle and then from there make make a couple of guys miss and pretty simple throw becomes a long touchdown. Another look at a fallout here. And star first reads the X. We see that corner right away. Zone turn, he's back. Just settle it up in that space. Keep your eyes on the quarterback at all times. Easy throw. Turn, get what you can get out of it. Look at a sit route. We're here in star. We're doing six. Outdoor, got the Y trying to get a release. H is working up. He's getting ready to settle it down. You can see him kind of throttling. With that safety so far off and Bell, and there's, he knows there's no way he's going to win deep here. So we just kind of break it down there in space. Would have yelled at him there for what we always teach guys when we catch balls is turn straight up the field. He kind of gets – sideways there probably could have picked up the first down or been close to it you know just get a you know a tight look or end zone look here that safety's 18 yards off clear you're not going to beat him deep settle up in open zone get another sit route here we got the h sitting on this one
Works up. The safety's slowly working over. Definitely not going to win vertical, but we have a whole lot of grass there. Got one more here. Um, we're out of empty, and this one. So we're we're going. We're basically tr what we're trying to do here is we're trying to sit our Y here, have the H posting inside. The idea was to pick on this cat, pull him down, make that throw. He's still got his same rules of if he doesn't feel like he can win deep, he's going to settle up. So is it, you see, they kind of roll out. Backer comes out of the box, gets depth. So he's now with the Y. Safety rolls over our F here at number two in the slot. And so when he sees that safety rolling over, sees that he can't win vertical, he just throttles down in that open window. Quarterback does a good job going across the field with the progression and finding his man. Now with the Bill Haven, got some cut ups, six cut ups from Bill Haven. Let's just, we just look at some different variations of these. Um, so this one, we're going wide jet and we're going six. We'd like to do jets and do inside zone out of these usually. And here we're just doing what we call our jet motion. That's the swing behind the quarterback. Have the other three guys working vertical. And just little things like that, that you just get the, defen the defense's eyes going different places. So. You know, we'll, we'll work that a lot. Usually those are in-game adjustments. Some star six outdoor. And we love this against two high looks because we always tell our why, if you can get over top of this guy, we're probably going to have a great play. But he just wants to work good pad level underneath. And, you know, better throw, you're walking in the end zone here. Our experience in star six, usually those three inside guys are the ones that are getting the ball the most. Another look at the star six outdoor. This time we actually do lead him. This is same drive a couple plays later. Decent coverage, but a great catch. Here's a look at a sleeper that we did with this one. We actually, we did a sleeper with our backside slot. So we're, we brought him in tighter. And so we're basically running a trip six look here. And this is the sleeper where he just kind of sits in. And I mean, this is brilliant. If you get your eyes on this cat here, you'll see him. He sees that he's just staying in. So the second that this cat turns to go cover the Y now, he just drops off. Now, if the quarterback just gets this ball out quick, he kind of bails for no reason here. But when he sees that defender jump, it should just be turning, popping this off, and then it's going to be a, a good play instead of a holding call. That sleeper really gives you a chance to kind of it's really about catching the defense sleeping and, you know, making the throws off of that. Um, one thing I really like to do is just find the running back on the check downs. I tell you, when I get a quarterback, it's probably one of the better things that I learned as a player over the years is to actually find that check down guy. Because when, when you get a quarterback that, actually finds these guys when he gets in trouble instead of trying to work vertical every time. I mean, this becomes one of your better routes to throw on this play. 
Now, we probably should have settled this about two or three yards deeper than where we are. What's actually happening here is he's he's trying to help block. We just whiff and he turns around. But you get the same look as what you would in a general check down. And the quarterback does a good job of knowing that that's there. And those just become, you know, big plays out of nothing. There's a look here out of an open flip six look. Nobody's there. The back checks it down. Just flip it off to him. Let him be an athlete. One more clip here that I want to show from from here, and that's um, a look at the sit post and how that works. All right, so we got six called. We got two high safeties. They're pretty wide. The wider they are, the better this is going to work. I should be working to get my outside release here. If I'm not beating him deep, I'm going to settle it down. Why should be working his outside release. Good thing about outside releasing, no matter what, also is when you outside release, you're going to widen out these safeties more, where if you inside release, you're going to pull them in with you. So we catch it because as you can see the, the Y by outside release, and he keeps that safety kind of sitting here. Eyes are locked in here. When we settle it down, the safety jumps. And that leaves all this space back behind him just to put it up to the Y for six. I mean, it, it's a phenomenal play. And it, it works you know, over and over and over again. And you don't really have to teach your quarterback anything besides. Can you show that one again? Absolutely. Don't really have to, you know, teach your quarterback anything besides just read straight across the field. Quarterback's not having to signal this. They're just doing this on their own. So first read is the X. Now, I like the X. I think we could have made that throw. But he doesn't feel comfortable with it. He sees the H settle. Probably could have fit that in for a short game. But by the H settling, that's what pulls the safety's eyes down. H knows he can't beat him. He settles it. So H comes down to cover him. Y has done a great job of getting an outside release to keep the safety wide. And that just opens up essentially by the time he comes down here, you've got all of this grass for the Y to run to. And, you know, I mean, this isn't, you know, they're, they're playing a, they have a two-man look here. They're two look, they blitz. So uh, essentially it becomes a cover zero with what they do in, in this instant. But ha had they been running anything else, this cat's usually going to beat a Will or a Sam or Will, you know, with an outside release regardless. Or if they're in, obviously, if they're in a cover four zone, it's going to look exactly the same. Quarterback's just going to have more time. So he actually does a great job of staying in the pocket with all that pressure coming. But it's a really good look at it. And we we have, I think, one more, one more cut of that as well. Right here. So the H works up. Shouldn't really be working it in. Usually what we teach them is to settle it up and work outside. But he settles up. That pulls the safety down, and now that leaves all the space for the Y there. You know, this is just a day one thing we teach, too. This is how six is taught. You know, mommy will teach X and Z. They're going deep. That's their job unless quarterback tells them come back or something like that. H, working four steps. Start to make your decision at four steps, which will push you by the time you, you know, settle it up. You're, you should be getting to about 10 yards. And Y is doing the same thing if he can't win it deep. And obviously here he feels like he can't with the defender turning shoulders, so he just breaks right across his face.
great catch right there. And other than that, you know, it's just the little things of, you know, going the quick game stuff of tagging the hitches or in this instance, we tagged a Friday outside. We had the outside, the H has the outside leverage. So it just becomes basically the quick game pass there. Everybody else just running the six play. And that's what pick a random sit route here. And then we'll, we'll go on to spring league or answer any questions you got. Here's just one with the H getting the outside release on the backer up top. He sees there's no way he's going to beat that safety deep. Settles it up in the hole. Another thing that Coach Mummy teaches that I've never really heard another coach teach this, but he, uh, you know, he teaches guys to like, you know, know when the trip is over with. So you'll see it a lot here. He catches the ball. He sees bodies coming. He's probably not going to make many more yards on here. So coach will almost teach it of you get in trouble right there. There's bodies all around you. Just tuck the ball and kind of dive, you know, dive forward towards the defenders. You're kind of laying a boom on them, almost like you're cut blocking them, and you're also shielding your body not to take a hit. But – you know, coach, coach teaches that, taught it at Bellhaven, taught it with our guys, you know, in the spring league. There's no one, it's over. Get down. All right. Uh, still got time. Do you want to look at some spring league stuff? Absolutely. All right. And any, quest, any questions? Any um, questions? No, you're doing a great Any, job. Anything loving, at all, my man. Yeah, no, I'm loving seeing the film. You're, you're doing a great job of teaching it. You know, we, we we probably teach it in a lot simpler terms than most people do because it's not a it's not something um I said it on Ron Mackey's podcast the other day and you know we had our huddle we, we worked through huddle as you can see here in the spring league and Coach Mummy didn't even have a huddle account. You know, for him, you know, he, he comes in, he watches the team. He watches the team practice every day. We watch the game, you know, as a group. But as far as our opponents, it's just not something he he really concerns himself with doing. He really likes to, um, you know, he says it's like you're looking at ghosts. If, if you're watching film and saying they're going to do this, that's what your anticipation is, which you could be wrong. But we're a progression-based offense, and as long as you stick to the progression – you know, he feels like it's always going to work. Uh, I Some of these, I don't know if you – I talked a bit about the outlaw and the maze concepts with, with Ron Mackey the other day and drew those up a little. I, I included those tags. So, you know, at the end here, if you want to want to look at those plays, that was kind of our new plays that we did. Then – um you know, we'll throw those in, throw in a few cut-ups of those. Not much to them, but we've talked about them, and I guess nobody's really looked at them yet besides me drawing up on yeah, I love, that I little love board that Ryan had. And so we only got 15 cut-ups here. We'll, we'll just we'll just go through these cut-ups as in the order that they're in. I'll try to be too fancy with them, but, yeah, a little bit different. One thing that uh, – Cooks I'm getting adjusting to from being, you know, coaching primarily always college baller in Europe, we would also use college hashes is, you know, I've had several people write me and ask about, say, maze, um, you know, is it, do you want the shake route to the field or, or to the boundary or talking about the outlaw play, you know, what do you do if you're on the left hash? Do you still have, you know, do you, do you bring guys in? Do you, you know, what, what, are you, what are you doing with them if the quarterback doesn't have that strong of an arm? And some of that, you know, you got to adjust it because, as you can see, you know, with, with the pro hashes, you're never really – we never really would treat it like, okay, this is a field play, this is a boundary play, because we always felt like we had enough space to run whatever we wanted from any hash without changing 
you know, the strength of the formation. So here's a star six. We just do a swap here because we wanted to get um, our faster guys. So swap just meant that the Y is going to be number two and um, our F would be number three. And in this instance, we put a receiver in at the F position. This is Isaac Zico, who and he had just gotten cut from the – I believe Zico had just been cut from the Cardinals when we brought him in. But he's uh, ended up leading the spring league, missed the first two games, and still led the spring league in, recept or in, in touchdown receptions. Really, really talented player. Makes a great catch here because it's pretty tight throw and he – there's definitely some boom whenever he catches the ball. You see down working from the bottom, X working to get outside, H is working outside because the safety is working over the H. You can see the H starting to settle it down, which is going to give that Y some space. But honestly, the reason this – the reason this is probably not a touchdown – is right here we want to teach should be an outside release if he fights for that outside release which might take longer and might push him out farther that's going to put this cat in a predicament where he's got two guys to work with and should give us the space we need to get down the middle here because we take the easy release inside now we're side by side he doesn't have near as much grass to defend and he can kind of play both men at once. And because of that, he's got more space or, you know, he's tighter. And he comes down and makes the play. But, you know, great catch by Zico to hang on to it. Great throw by Ryan to fit it in there. So I don't know if we stay on the line or if it widens out any. Might be able to see it a bit here. Too tight a film on that.